Deep in a flower patch, or nestled in the lower branches of a bush, lurk tiny, unassuming spiders. They stay well out of the way, and are small with boring colors, so nobody really pays any attention to them. But what if I told you that this spider holds one of the most bizarre secrets in the entire arachnid world? Check this out. It's so small that you can't see on the camera, but this is a really special spider. There are thousands of species of spider in the world, and many of them elicit immense fear in those who stumble upon them. But if you're brave enough to take a closer look, you'll find that the world of spiders is chock full of secrets. And among spiders, this tiny little orb weaver is probably the most unique. There we go. She is so tiny, you can barely see her. I'm gonna have to really bring out the macro lens for this, but this right here might be the strangest spider on the planet. This right here, is what's known as a hackled orb weaver. And what's strange about this is it's actually not a real orb weaver. They just happen to spin orb-shaped webs. I gotta watch her really carefully because she keeps dropping off and she's so tiny that she's gonna disappear really easy. This is as big as they get. They are tiny little spiders. And the reason they're called a hackled orb weaver is because their web is totally different than any other species of spider on the planet. Most spiders spin a very sticky adhesive web, but these don't have any stickiness to their web whatsoever. Their web is actually tangled and twisted and it's like got all kinds of weird stringy textures to it. And what that actually does is it ensnares insects because they actually get completely physically tangled in the web. And the way that it kills its prey is equally bizarre. Nestled between two branches in the understory of a bush, a hackled orb weaver sits patiently in its web. The woolly threads are like an extension of the spider's mind. The slightest vibration, and the spider will be aware. The orb weaver is selective, though. It has a very unique hunting strategy that requires it to only go after prey that it can be sure to overpower. A leafhopper? Too hard-bodied. But finally, a small fly gets trapped in the web. The orb weaver decides to pounce. We don't see a bite, but as the fly gets more and more tangled in the hackled web, the spider acts quickly, wrapping the insect up and packaging it tightly in its unique silk. It will leave this insect to struggle and burn all of its excess energy. Then, it will use the web to crush and suffocate the insect before it begins to feed. You might be asking, Spencer, suffocating the insects seems a little bit cruel. Why doesn't this spider just give them a venomous bite to end their misery? And that's the thing, it can't. Now, these spiders do have chelicerae and fangs, but they actually lack venom glands. With spiders, the word venomous is often thrown around only for the spiders that are medically significant. Widow spiders, brown recluses, things like that. And we often refer to other spiders that are not medically significant as non-venomous, even though most spiders actually do possess venom that they use to subdue their prey. But the spiders in the bizarre family of Uliboridae actually lack venom glands, which means these spiders are truly non-venomous. Strangely enough, they are extremely successful. There's lots of different species worldwide, even out into the tropics. Now this right here is the feather-legged orb weaver, and it gets its name from those front two legs that look just like they have feathers on the front. I can ID this because it's the only species of Uliboridae that ranges into this area. They're a very distinctive looking animal. They don't have super high diversity this far from the tropics. In Australia, South America, there are a lot more species of these bizarre animals, but have a look at that. A feather-legged, hackled orb weaver. You probably never heard of this, but, but this has gotta be the strangest arachnid on the planet. Have a look at that spider. The hackled orb weaver is a truly bizarre arachnid, but it's not the only strange spider in terms of web or venom that might be lurking in your backyard. If you want to see another truly bizarre spider, check out this video where we found a spitting spider, a spider that actually sprays venom-laced web. And until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.